Welcome to the Walls and Curtain Walls video presentation. We'll start a new Revit file and draw a new exterior brick on CMU walls in level 1 that we can use to show the different wall tools. You can change the visual display of the detail level to fine in order to see the different layers of wall material. We'll go to the 3D view and take a look at sweeps and reveals. Under the wall tool, sweeps and reveals can be placed on the wall after it has been drawn or placed within the wall type. A sweep is a projection that comes away from the wall and the reveal does just the opposite and cuts back into the wall surface. Select wall sweep and then pick the wall and you'll see that the sweep projects away from the wall. <clears throat> Going to the reveal, the reveal cuts back into the wall here. You can place horizontal and vertical sweeps and reveals by selecting in the ribbon horizontal or vertical placement. Once you've placed a sweep you can pick restart wall sweep to place others and the same applies for the reveals. You can place them in elevation or here in the 3D view to place them on different elevations. If you select one of your sweeps, you can then pick Edit Type in the Properties and change the profile under Construction to a different predefined profile, like Wall Sweep Brick Soldier Course 2 Bricks. When you pick Apply, you'll see that the sweep updates to the new profile. Keep in mind that we may want to duplicate this original sweep. Going back to the default profile and picking apply and OK. If you select one of your sweeps as we already did, you can use modify returns to change the angle of the sweep or the way that it turns the wall. An angle of 45 will look different than an angle of 135. In the elevation view, we can place them on different surfaces, like this sweep that goes all the way across. If we select that sweep, we can pick Add and Remove Walls to select the portion of the sweep that we'd want to remove. We can create our own customized sweep and reveals by going to the application menu, big R, go to new, and over to family. For reveals, we're going to look for the family file called profile reveal. There's the wall face and the wall, the actual wall that's on the right hand side. We can create a closed loop shape for our custom reveal. Save this family file as a different name to retain the original template. We'll call it custom reveal, pick save, and then load it into your project. In the 3D view, we can start the reveal tool and then pick edit type in properties and duplicate this system reveal calling it custom reveal Then changing the profile under construction to our custom reveal. When we place it, 
you'll see your custom profile. The sweep is very similar. You can go to the application menu and create a new family. This time we're looking for profile hosted. In the profile hosted family file, we'll create a sweep that projects from the host, which is the wall itself, to create our new sweep. Save this one, as custom sweep and then load it into your project. In the 3D view, you can start the wall sweep tool, pick the edit type button in properties, duplicate this system wall sweep, calling it custom sweep, and changing the profile to custom sweep, the one that you created. Placing that sweep, you can see your custom profile for the reveal and the sweep. If you start the wall tool and change your wall to the exterior brick and CMU on metal stud, and then pick Edit Type. You can pick Duplicate and replace that number 2 with Custom Reveal and pick OK. Pick the Preview button and change the view to Section. You'll see that this wall type includes reveals and sweeps. If you pick the Edit button next to Structure, in the bottom right corner, you'll see Sweeps and Reveals. Let's take a look at the Sweeps. Go ahead and pick Sweeps. There is a parapet, concrete parapet at the top of the wall at zero distance. And a sweep that's a brick soldier course, but it's a distance of one foot four from the top of the wall, but it's offset negative three and five eighths inch, bringing it back into the wall flush with the face of this masonry brick wall. And there's a precast sill here that's three foot four from the base. You can load a, another profile and set it up with the distance and offset. Or you can add a default sweep and change its profile and settings. I'll go ahead and delete this one. There's also a duplicate button here so you can duplicate one that's already there and then change some of these settings. These other three look like sweeps but if I pick OK and go to reveals you'll see that these three are actually reveals that cut back into the wall at these specific distances. If I want to change one of these reveals, I can simply change the profile to our custom reveal, pick apply, and see that it cuts right back into here the wall you'll see the different sweeps and reveals that were a part of this wall type. Let's take a look at split regions. In the project browser, under families, instead of starting a wall tool to change its type in the project browser, under families, walls, basic walls, you can highlight one of these walls and then pick it again and in the type properties pick duplicate and let's replace that too with split region then pick the preview button 
and change the view from floor plan to section. Pick the edit button under structure to take a look at the layers. Highlighting the finish one, we can pick split region and then in the section view, use this small knife tool to pick points along this outside finish masonry brick to establish different split regions so that we can assign different material to those regions. Then highlight finish one and pick insert a couple of times to insert layers for those different finishes. We need to change the function to finish one for those two new layers so that all three of the first layers are finish one and then change the material for finish one to concrete changing the surface pattern to concrete and the cut pattern to concrete pick OK and then the second finish we can change to stone maybe as a choice we can duplicate that stone material calling it stone custom and then looking at the surface patterns which we will be editing we can use the shingle surface pattern but more importantly we can pick the render appearance and change the stone replacing here this masonry rustic look with something different like a polished stone or jagged or even uneven rectangular stones. I'll go ahead and pick OK. You can then highlight finish one which is the concrete and use here the up and down arrows to organize your layers so that maybe the stone is one and the masonry is two and the concrete is three. Highlight concrete, pick assign layers and then select in the section that first portion that we split. Select now the finish that's the stone custom. Pick the assign layer button and then select the portion of that outside finish that you'd like to make the stone. We could add to this assembly by adding sweeps and reveals as we did earlier in the video. I'll go ahead and pick OK and OK and then pick the wall tool and you'll see your new split region wall. You can place that wall and take a look at the different finishes. If you wanted to create a quick region rendering you can put a check mark in region and just crop that region that you'd like to render just rendering a small portion of the view to take a look at those materials going back to the level one view we can draw a section from the view tab through these walls taking a look at their profile double click on the section and then change the detail level to fine and take a look at all of the reveals and sweeps and our customized split region going back to the 3D view the split region will split the entire 
finish of that material. As an option, you can use split face to split just the face of the material and the modify tab in the geometry panel you can pick split face select the face that you'd like to split and then use these tools to draw your split face shape then pick finish edit mode and then just underneath the split face icon there's an icon called paint. You can change the material, maybe carpet, and select here the portion of the face that you'd like to change. This is a great tool for sidewalks and splitting the surface of floor material from one room to another. Just a couple of quick tools that I'd like to mention. We'll go back to the section view in the Modify tab, we could use Join Geometry to visually join here these two elements so that the bold line continues around those elements. So if you had a floor surface coming through here and it wasn't cleaning up, you could use Join Geometry to make that section look a little more continuous. Also in the View tab, there is a tool called Thin Lines, which just changes the display back to Thin Lines for a different display to work with. Let's take a look at extending walls beyond their base. Some walls have more than one grip, like this one. The material has already been unlocked and can extend beyond its base. To have more control over extending materials beyond their base, you can select the wall and then pick Edit Type and pick Edit. Then in the preview, pick Modify and go close to the end of the material that you'd like to extend. You'll see it highlight. When you left click, you'll see a little lock. Click right on top of that lock to unlock it, giving you more control over extending that material. Pick OK and OK, and now selecting that wall, you'll see two grips because we unlocked that wall material. We can extend it beyond its base. In the level one view, if we draw a wall that's an interior 5 inch partition, we know that at the intersection of this wall it's going to automatically clean up. If we want to disallow that wall to be joined and cleaned up with this other wall, we can highlight the wall, right click and pick disallow join. Now as I pull my interior wall close to the exterior wall, it will not clean up. If I select the wall and then pick the small toggle here, I can join the wall and clean up that intersection. Also in the modify tab, in the geometry panel, you'll find the wall joins tool. The wall joins tool will help you change the look of these corners, wall corners. Select here the corner and then notice in the options bar you have a butt joint and a miter. If you pick in front of miter, you'll see that the display changes.